Welcome to the Empire by this Rampant, and welcome back to my Kingdom of Normandy campaign for the Last Kingdom mod for Medieval 2. We're gonna continue left off from last time, just casually dismantling Charlemagne's legacy. <laughs> just casually. Where, at the moment, I, I do wonder whether or not we're just gonna straight up fully kill these guys off. I could if I really want to. I am gonna have my heir continue fighting around here, I would say, because he's got a really good general's bodyguard, he's got a decent army around here, he can do quite a bit. So, I know we have this fight ready right around here, I will fight that in a second. Or actually, let's just start off with that. Let's start off with that, because that's going to kind of determine what we do, because at the moment, I am losing money because of the forces I have with my general, my faction leader, and it's either I have it so that I will bring those forces kind of back over here and start trying to beat back um, East Frankie with both of my forces, just really blitz them as hard as I can, because every time I take a city, I do get a nice surplus of money. I do need to improve my infrastructure for troops and for money, honestly. Um, and so I'm not opposed to trying to use that money to try and build this stuff up, but it's like, wait, just how far do we go? How far do we go in trying to kill these guys off? And I'm still debating on that. Like, I have to try and see, because I don't know where some of their cities are. This one is just, like, right next to me, so I might as well. Um, let's bring you guys up here, trying to get down. Archers, let's move you guys just a little bit closer, because I might be able to just unload on them from where we're at. Because they just have a lot of infantry here. They didn't have any skirmishers in this army whatsoever. So if I can just get in range, I can just start unloading on you guys. I do at least have the one ram me his way forward. I'll have at least one of you try and go around and open up a section over here for my cab to try and make their way through. I don't know if it'll be really necessary, but might as well grab it just in case. Archers now are in range. There you go. And see, I think some of you are not in range just right now, so I'll move you guys just a little bit closer. So you guys move a little bit closer. These two get a little bit closer as well. And then, uh, let's see, this guy, I can have you move a little bit up, too. Because number-wise, let's see, they've already lost 5% of the forces. Not bad. Uh, I might also... Actually, I don't think we need to even bring those guys over that way. I'm kind of tempted to move them off to the side, but I can have you guys probably just drop your rams. Are they actually going to sell you out? Uh, no, they're just kind of standing there right now. Okay, perfect. So let's have it so that you two. Let's get you a little bit closer right there. Uh, you also move up a little bit further. Same with you guys. I'm gonna move you up a little bit as well. Let's see, 13% are already dead. I would like you guys to specifically try and maybe focus on the General's Bodyguard, so let's have them focus you guys down for a bit. Okay, you guys use up about as much ammo as you can. 40% uh, of the enemy army is dead. Let's get you guys to start trying to rush on up to the General's Bodyguard. I'm gonna try and have it so my cav. The gates are open over here. Let's bring you and this other infantry unit rush on in here. And we want to try and make sure we prevent them from getting back into the city center. So, guy, make your way back here. Come on, come on, come on. Get in the city before they get back. Charge these missile units. Uh, they're technically just outside of it. But, you know, get on over here. Help us out. Because I just want to try and make sure that we can prevent them from getting back to the city center. Let's get these guys. Because that's all of my infantry right now is trying to focus on all of you. This unit, the general's still alive, surprisingly. Even though I've thrown all my infantry at him, even though his bodyguard was severely weakened. What's he got? He's at 12 guys. So again, try and keep focusing on the- oh, there he goes. There we go. Okay, so now these guys, please break. Please break and let me capture you before you get into the city center. The wavering still. Uh, I only have my normal uh, horn, that's fine. These guys have broken at least, though. So let's get you guys to keep chasing them down. And there they go. Okay, so they've now given up. We can just end the battle. Don't need to keep fighting them. So there's another city for us. And I am going to check something because it has been brought up uh, with how the cities respond to sacking and extermination. Um, usually I go with extermination just to make it so it's public order is fine and they're happy with me. But also, it does seem like because population plays such a huge role, like I would make another 1,500 here. But I would kill 3,000 more people and killing those 3,000 more people actually makes it so it feels like it has a far bigger effect on the income than the money I'm actually gaining. So I'm going to say just pillage and plunder. And so if we make um, more than, because it's, yeah, it's only a 1,500 difference, I lose 100 there. It's so much better to just sack it. Yeah, yeah, it's so much better to sack it. Um, there was a trader around here. Yes, let's grab that trader. Because then I can go try and... Uh, I know there was this. That was like 600. I definitely want that. I still don't have any spies right now, but that's okay. Let's have you get the colony because we do need to make sure we convert this area. So we need to try and focus on that. Uh, then I want to try and say... Um, so if I'm going to push into them, 
Because let's see, right now, I need to try and find other cities around here. Like, hey, there's Bremont, there's another city. There's another settlement that they've got under their control there. Um, I'm gonna try and see, because I wouldn't mind controlling up to about here, basically. I'll control everything to the east, and then I'll at least have it so we just kind of block them off. And they can, if they want to stay in Denmark, they can stay in Denmark. I don't care about that. Um, but I think that might be as far east as we go. I'm sorry, far north as we go in this area. Because I really do want to have it so that we start pushing into and start trying to deal with taking some land over here with my king. Um, at the moment, this city here. These guys are all mercenaries, so they're all pretty expensive. Um, this area hasn't been converted yet either, so we don't have any sort of troops around here that we can use just yet. Uh, the best thing I can maybe do is like bring some of these guys. These are a little bit cheaper, so I can recruit you guys. Try and bring you up there to watch over the city. Are you happy to leave here? Yes, because I want to try and see if I bring you back up here. If I put you in the city. Are they happy? They are. So I can have you watch over that. Now, I don't have enough movement to go um, either way, because I could go over here or I could go over here. I kind of want to leave you alone... But I kind of also want to have it to like let you kind of focus on them yourselves. But I do kind of like the idea of us working together, father and adoptive son, um, to work together. No, that actually is my proper son. It's not an adoptive son, actually. Now that I look at it. Never mind. Um, we have you guys work together and kill them off, or at least take this stuff because they don't have that much land left. They were at East Francia was at territorially. Um, they were at about like what nine or ten there. They're probably at eight at this point in time. I know they've got some land over in Denmark. I wonder. I can try and talk to them and say, hey, could you give me some map information? I am still losing money, so that's why I have to really make my decision. I might bring you over here. Maybe have you go. I could probably go hit this village at least. Let's go hit this village. Let's go start raiding a little bit. I kind of do want to have you go over here and I'll leave my heir to try and focus on East Francia. Because if I can, I might just hold this. If not, I'm not opposed to keep pushing into them. Like, this city here, I can go hit you. It doesn't have a lot in it. Actually, do I have enough movement for that? Uh, I'd have to get through, through you. Like, if I merge some men, let me leave behind... Um, you? They're pissed. But if I lower the taxes... Oh, no, that's not enough. Uh, can you leave here? You can. Okay, go into the city. Still no? Wow. It's worse, actually, now, because it was at 55 before. Oh, no, that's 55 again. And first, I have to probably push you back. I can start... Yeah, I'm just going to fucking kill them. Um, I have to leave somebody else behind. I'll leave behind no, uh, you that. as well. Is that enough? Still no? Wow, really? It's at 70. It's all religious unrest. Let's leave behind one more. That'll be good enough. I, I can just bring them back. Let's just start sieging this city as there's nobody here, basically. I think we'll just kill them. I will want to try and have it maybe see if I can have my diplomat maybe try and talk to them and ask, Hey, hey, could you guys maybe uh, tell me where all your land is? That'd be great. I will try and at least grab some units around here because at the moment, we're just trying to convert you because you've already got the colony built up around here. I need to get something so that these guys are free upkeep, which at the moment, let's see, that's the regional conscription. Huntsman, Frisman Warband. And yeah, that'd be you guys if I want to have you be free upkeep. That cost 2400 Does reduce happiness, which I can't really justify right now. You guys can kind of get away with it. You guys also would be able to have free upkeep units around here too. Because I want to bring any units that aren't free upkeep back into my armies and not just have them just sit around here forever. So I would kind of hope that uh, do you have enough? You do. Okay, so next turn what we can do, bring you up to the city. They will then be free upkeep. I can then take some of these guys out of there, bring them back over to this army, and kind of the same deal with you. So I'll try and do that. And then that should be it for all my forces for right now. Still slowly trying to get you guys to have uh, free upkeep around here. I just don't want the regional conscription crap. I just don't like this. The ne I could get it now for you. You're happy enough that it's probably fine. Which, if I get enough money, I think I'll grab it because it does save me like three, four hundred gold per turn. But hey, let's try and see what's going to happen with my faction leader. I will have it so. My faction heir will be the one that continues to focus on East Francia. My faction leader, 
he's going to start trying to actually have it so we disembark and start building up a little bit of land over here. Because why not? Because at the moment, I am still losing money, so we need to make use of the units I have around here. But let's go on. And then let's... Because this is supposed to be Canterbury, but what's that? Um, but let's have you guys hit this spot. This area, I think... Uh, oh, there is? Oh, there's some faction. Oh, faction leader and a dynasty member. And then a infantry unit. Uh, what's the bodyguard for you guys? So you guys do have a infantry bodyguard as well. Okay. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, let's deal with you guys. Yeah, let's fight this battle ourselves. And then we'll slowly start building ourselves up around here. Because why not? Because I can start pushing on here at the same time as my fa my faction heir is pushing in East Francia. Basically, the money from East Francia is going to start funding the wars to push into the British Isles. Kind of reverse of what it should be, technically. But I think that's fine. Let's make sure to grab my elites. Bring you guys over to the side here. And then my archers. We basically need you just to just kind of unload on their forces. Infantry kind of group up. And then I've got uh, my cav bodyguard here. I'll have you kind of go off to the side right now. Let's move my infantry forward. And then get my archers up as well. Hopefully you guys will be in range so you can shoot them. And then let's bring my elites over to the side here so we can try and flank and surround them. Because ideally, my archers will do most of the damage. And then we just kind of clean them up with the rest of my army. I would ideally love if we took basically no damage um, for this area simply because of the fact that we need to make the most out of every unit we have right now. But the more damage I take, the more I will actually be making money. Because these guys are expensive. Because they're mercenaries, they have a, a really high upkeep of, was it 400H, I think it was? Um, let's get you guys to move a little bit closer. They can't shoot the enemy army just yet. So you guys kind of move on up. Infantry move forward here and right here. If I can get you guys, I really want to have it so that I can make it so I get you guys out of the city center, then surround you. That's ideal. Archers still can't shoot them from right there. Let's see. How close do you guys have to get to shoot these guys? Because right now I can move you guys up a little bit more. So right there and right there. Uh, let's try and see from this angle. Yeah, some most of you can. One guy, obviously this guy over here cannot. So just get a little bit closer right there. And then I can have most of you guys start unloading them. Oh no, here they come. So they're ignoring us with those guys. Okay, so let's have my elites. You can slaughter these units. So let's get you guys to unload on them. Actually, you save your ammo. You guys rush on in here. A general, my cab general. Let's get you over to the side here. And my elites actually turn skirmish mode off. But do kind of make your way up here. Because my archers, I'm going to have you try and unload on this guy. There might be a lot of friendly fire right now, honestly. No, fourth of the enemy army is already dead. But yeah, let's get you guys over here. Cab general, come around the side. Flank this guy. Then we're just going to surround you guys outside the city center. So that ideally we can maybe break you guys and kill you off that way. Yeah, because this guy's dying really quickly. There you go. Um, one enemy general is already dead. That's not the main general, though. But that's at least one of them. Let's get you to get a little bit closer. You guys are taking a lot of damage right there. Ooh. Do you guys have a different bodyguard than my other general? No, it's just for some reason this is the first time I've done a close-up on it. And you just look so badass. I love it. Okay, these guys are almost dead. Let's get you to try and line up right there. Because then, it's now just dealing with the other general's bodyguard. Oh, they're coming back. Okay, that's all I want. Get you guys fight in there. Cab general kind of go off to the side a little bit. Javelins uh, go more to like right here instead, actually. Because I want to make sure you use your javelins on these guys because you have a nice armor piercing attack. It's like right there. Line up. Throw them at the guy. They are making their way towards us. Okay, so they are. Uh, what are you doing? I sure hit this guy as you can because he's got more men still in his bodyguard. Uh, and there's the enemy general. Okay, so both enemy generals have now died. This one's down to six. You can pull out of there. You guys can come back in and try and help finish this guy off. As I'm assuming now that they're both dead. Oh, you're gonna actually try and take us here. Okay, get my cab general to run back over and help us out. Because he's at 38 guys. Uh, get my elites to help out as well. You want to try and pull back a little bit so you can actually utilize your javelins. But surround him. He is in the safe center, so he's not gonna break, though, sadly. Yeah, just unload on him. He's only got 20 guys now. There you go. Because once that unit is fully dead, we've then won this fight. And I do want to keep this land. I don't want to just sack it and then run away. 
So basically, I'm hoping that uh, this area will be happy enough that if I move out of here with maybe just leave these guys behind, uh, I will be able to start sieging that walled city. Because as soon as I siege that walled settlement, um, I'll have a far better chance of maybe actually holding this land. But we'll slowly start building and uh, pushing our way into Wessex, I would say, first. You guys are a really good area for me to start trying to expand around here. I will definitely um, just sack it, because we do make more money from it. And then this area here, so... A lot of events. Um, I don't know if this is going to convert for us, because it says Saxon. I can test and see if it will. No, I'll probably have to get rid of it. Gain two. Yeah, so grab that. So we'll turn this into a colony for ourselves, and then let me see. So merge men together. I did actually recover quite a bit. That's the only general in that uh, city right there. Let's see. So if I leave these two behind, the area is happy, so I can start sieging this. Perfect. Because that's what we want. We want us to be able to start trying to push on in here. Um, and they do control London as well. Nice. I do like that I can just keep pushing in here one after another. Just keep chaining these areas together. And just keep building myself up there. Uh, Monster, yeah, you guys finally finished building that stuff. So what we need to do is take one of you up to here. And then can I take both of them out? Yes, I can. So send both of them over to Bremnon. And then, um, let's see, you're good as well. And then it was Aachen, you're okay. Okay, so you guys are good for the garrisons we have around there. Okay. Money-wise, yeah, we're still losing a little bit of money, but we can push on in here. I think we can just auto-resolve this. It's one guy. Yeah, seven casualties. That's fine. Bremon is now ours. And then, again, we'll do the pillage. Because, again, I barely... Yeah, 30. It's it's so much better to sack it and then just uh, wait for it to come build back up. Um, I would say just do that. So, you guys, I do need to get rid of this vassal thing here as well. And then just slowly build up the colony there. Uh, probably have it so that you guys will try and watch over the city for us. Um, now, what I want to try and do is... This is the issue. I don't know where their other cities are. Because right now, at least, we will sit here for a bit. But I can build up some watchtowers. Try and figure out where... Oh, there's a city! <gasps> oh! <laughs> How many guys do I have to leave? By the way, the tax is 60. And I've got these guys there next turn. Those in the summary. I, I'm just gonna hit this. Thing. Just hit Hamburg. Why not? So you guys, William. Um, I don't have my elite, so that is one thing I need to be careful of. Let's first check and see if there are mercenaries in here. There are none. All those. Kaiser. Senior. All those Kaiser. Do you guys need Kaiser. to be in there? No, you do. Damn it. Because it's already on the yeah lowest one. Because I want to hit this. Senior. Let's see, we've got five archers. You know what? I look forward to fighting you. Hey, you guys aren't the best commanders, and your general's bodyguard, yes, this goes about. They don't have any other cat besides those guys. So I think we can still do this. Yeah, no, I think we can do this. I was hoping that maybe they do they do outnumber me a little bit. These guys aren't that bad. These are just the basic mercenaries. Those guys are pretty easy to deal with my archers. They've got four units of archers. But if I get my cab to focus on them, we should be okay. So let's go a little bit more risky here. But if I win this fight, I should be able to just take this city right from under them. And keep slaughtering East Francia. God. I, I find it interesting that we are doing this in the reverse. Like, literally, all my forces, um, all my money in land is being so supporting my war into um, the British Isles as opposed to pushing into here more, which I kind of find interesting. Now, given what they have for the troops, I actually think I can get away with trying to pull back and wait for them to come to me, maybe? Because, uh, at least, yeah, terrain-wise, yeah, I can like set up like back here. I think that they outnumber us enough that they'll be like, oh yeah, no, we can advance on you and then give my archers plenty of time to do their damage. And to guarantee that they're going to walk over to me, let me bring my cab over here. Let's try and get a charge in on this mercenary captain here. See if we can kill him outright. And then do enough damage to them that they want to advance over to me. Because if you guys can do that, then we can just wait for them to get in range of my archers and slaughter them. And they might actually have it so that they'll kind of uh, disengage from their archers and leave them vulnerable. Broken over? Fuck yeah. So this guy's already done. So these two units I can just run down freely. So yeah, start trying to run this guy down. 
Uh, the other one, has he broken yet too? The other one's over here. This one hasn't given up yet. Let's bring my general to go fight you. Try and see if I can get you to break as well. You guys just try and run that one down. Start capturing them. Because we do need to get the Magic 85, although we're really close to their reinforcements. So I think we're going to want to pull back. So let's get running, running away. You guys, now that the captain's dead, I don't think we have to really care. So let's get you guys to kind of pull back. Let's go back to my allies. Because I don't think we need to kick the Hornet's Nest more than we need to. And now that the captain's dead, even if this uh, little army makes its way over, we should be fine. Yeah, because they're trying to chase us. Yep, there they are. Yeah, trying to chase us. Let's kind of get them away from the reinforcements and then charge them again. Because I'm just more so worried that they'll bring in their cav and I'm not going to be able to deal with their cav right now. Because they do have the two generals' bodyguards of theirs. But let's like, hit this guy right here. This guy's really spread out. Should be pretty easy to break him. And then see if they have anybody else. Yeah, oh, oh, those are their skirmishers. Okay, actually pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. We don't want to be shot at by their archers. So pull back for right now. That guy's broken, but I, I have to ignore him. It is fine if we just whittle down the army as well, and we have to come back for them later. Actually, they're just sending their archers forward. Oh. Oh, you shouldn't have. Because if you guys separate your archers away, I'm glad they're going to charge those. Yep, one unit just isolated it alone. Charge it, see if it'll break. Yep, there it goes. Let's see if we can run it down. And just probably have to try and charge into their other archers here, too. Because if I can get rid of all their skirmishers, we have the uh, range advantage then in, in this fight. Uh, come on, break the archers too. They're, they are coming back rather quickly, so I don't think we're going to be able to. Let's just go charge this one, because he's alone. Because they're breaking, but then coming back almost immediately. So like charge this guy, then start trying to run him down a little bit. We do need to get away from the skirmishers, though. But it's a good sign that they're breaking this easily, even though their generals aren't dead. Yeah, 10% of the enemy army is already out of the picture. So let's go back now. We don't need to keep uh, pressuring them. Okay, they don't want to commit. So let's get my cab to try and charge on in here and start hitting the skirmishers again. I did move my infantry a little bit closer to try and see if we can take advantage of them wanting to charge us over closer. So you guys try and see... Uh, you try and actually go around them. Because I still want to try and break this unit and actually capture it. Oh, they might actually be going for my army now. Please tell me you are. Let's go. Make sure all my guys are running in position. Because as long as you guys get in position before they do, because I'm just trying to move you guys right up here, so just a little bit closer. Then, uh, archers, please do your thing. Yeah, these skirmishers are just kind of chilling right there, kind of back off right now. Infantry doesn't really want to commit. The enemy general is back here, so he's chilling there. The other one is chilling back here. Still doing not well number-wise, only 3 to 11% of my forces. Yeah, now they're getting closer. Yeah, make up your mind, are you going to go for my guys or not? Yeah, they just keep going back and forth. Let me keep charging them then. Okay, they finally committed. So the General's Bodyguards are moving forward. Ne okay, so they finally committed. So the General's Bodyguard is here. I'm going to have it so that for right now, Archers, I'm not able to focus both of you. One of you is going to try and turn back around here to help out. Uh, my Cav, let's get you to try and help kill this one as he's engaged with my melee. So if you guys can focus him, I can then turn the rest of my infantry back around to try and help out you guys. Try and wait until the infantry is there to try and pull away. You guys can kind of run away over there. You guys can kind of run over there. Try and shoot him if you can. This guy is surrounded. Hopefully he'll die. Because once the enemy generals are out of the picture, they're going to go around the side here. Because he's now in combat. Now it's time you guys try and run away. Kind of pull back from this guy. You try and go right here. And then engage in melee with him. All my archers, if you're in melee with him, kind of back up a little bit. And then try and just shoot him. See, so yeah, all of you try and unload on him. All my infantry try and engage him. He's at... 36. Their infantry is a little too close, so I have to pull out of here. Number wise, let's see, 11 to 19. Not the worst. Just have back up, guys. Get out of there. He's almost dead. This guy is at 46. My archers are unloading on him, or they're supposed to be. So he should hopefully die soon. I'm going to have you turn back around. Try to distract these archers here. Let's see, 13 to 20. You guys should ignore them for right now. Oh, there's one. There's William. I think that was the main general's bodyguard. Uh, I don't know if that was in this general's bodyguard over here, or if it was this general's bodyguard over here, but I'm going to bring my cav. I'm actually going to have you guys are trying to run away from them in skirmish mode. There's not a lot of space for us. We don't have a lot of guys. Those guys are broken. I mean, I hope that was the main general. Try and run them down, if you guys can. Try and get over there. Archers, try and back up. You guys are just not listening. Just back up there, guys. Back up there, out of that area. Cav... So that one's at 18. 
I'm gonna try and run this one off the map. You get back over here. Because I don't know which one died. If it was this one or this one. I think it might have been the one with 18. But still. Have my, my cav. You're trying to make your way over here and run him off the map. Infantry just needs to keep regrouping. And then my skirmishers, you just need to back up and start trying to start kiting them and doing some damage. So like you three here. Try and go like right there. These three try and go like right over here. Start spreading out. Doing what damage again. Cav. I need to go back over here for this bodyguard unit. My infantry that's lower in health is breaking. Not surprised by that. I might have to be doing this basically all my... Just my cav. My cav and my archers. Which I'm not... I'm, I think that's possible. That's pretty doable given what archers I have. So yeah, try and unload on them if you guys can. Those guys are breaking. There's not a lot of them though, so I'm not surprised by that. Please tell me this is the other Jones bodyguard that hasn't died yet. That's my hope, at least. Okay, archers keep trying to shoot them. Keep trying to kite them. So you guys keep trying to run away. While my cat archers try and open up on this unit. Number-wise, we're doing okay still. 23 to 32. This guy's now breaking. So let's switch our attention to another unit. Switch to another unit right there. You're still fighting. I kind of back up a little bit. You keep running because you're still too close. You're still too close there. This Jones bodyguard's at 6. Please tell me again this is the one that hasn't died yet. Because they're already pretty shaken. I would hope that I can keep you guys alive. Because if you guys can stay alive long enough, then I can make use of the... Okay, I think that's the one that isn't... Uh, it's already dead then. Oh, nope. Never mind. There we go. So they're both dead. Cav, let's get you to run back over here. Try and break those guys. These two infantry units can try and help out my archers around here. Because you guys are just trying to unload on them. Oh, I need to actually... No, go for... You go for the skirmishers. Because those skirmishers are still in play. My skirmishers just keep unloading on their infantry. You guys kind of back up there and there. You should probably back up right there. Um, and then it does seem like I'm causing chain routes around here, so start trying to run them down with my general. Number wise, it's 27 to 44. Come on, cause a mass chain route. Because now all their generals are dead. All their generals are dead. Yeah, there we go, mass chain route around here. Infantry, at this point, I'm pretty confident in you guys just start uh, going AI commands. Go after whatever units you can. Uh, archers, keep trying to focus on these same individual units. And then my general, you need to make sure you run them down so we get the Magic 85. Alrighty, so let's see. So we were able to get the Magic 85, killing both the enemy generals. We will be able to walk straight on into the city. Ah, beautiful. Just continuing to destroy Charlemagne's legacy every single battle. <laughs> I fucking love it. And it's literally just been single-handedly either my faction leader or my faction heir. Technically, you could attribute it more to my faction heir. And we did capture one of you guys. Ah, uh, fucking execute him. I want the city. So we're going to walk straight on in. And then pillage and plunder the area. And then that should be... Oh, I do need to get rid of that. Um, uh, Technically, I do have those. That's all good. Uh, but, you know, we'll get rid of this because I need to convert it over to my own type. Uh, you guys should be A-OK. -okay, but I do think this will be the furthest north I go. Uh, if I have enough movement, I don't really. I was going to say, if I had enough movement, I was going to go up and try and maybe build a watchtower... Um, great warrior, nice. You have that as a retinue for yourself. That's great, I love that. So it gives you more personal security, more command when commanding infantry, nice. Let's see, another candidate for adoption. I will accept you. Let's see, this is in ruin. Switch to Christianity. Um, so we actually haven't switched over to Christianity just yet. We have a chance to do so. I agree, the Duchy of Normandy was born and you will now be able to recruit new types of units like knights. I will be doing this, because I, I want the Norman units that we're supposed to be able to get access to. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess we didn't start out with it. I thought we already did, but no, we will switch to it. Uh, Bremon is pissed, that's understandable. Uh, but now, so the Normans have converted. Let's see, as the roots of the Roman Catholic Church spread throughout Europe, a number of nobles are now suggesting that the Duchy of Normandy should look uh, to have faith. Let's see, so now we shall share their faith, indeed. We've upgraded to Norman, so let's see. So the new Norman needs your help to appear, uh, appear correctly in the game. Please save and exit to run the baptized Normans on your desktop, and then I will... Okay, so I have to go do that. So I need to go do that, so I'll come back to you guys after I've done that. Give me one moment, I need to click through everything else. So we'll first do everything else, and then I'm going to do that and come back to you guys. So this city is sieged. Uh, we are now no longer orange, which feels weird to me, but I guess that might change once we're done. Um, so that city is sieged. I think we might be okay if we just ignore it. And then we've prepared those. But yeah, that, those guys are just pissed off because, hey, I'm about to put another unit right here. So you guys are now fine. Um, 
So that's all about that. So let me go do this. Okay, technically there's nothing for me to actually run on my desktop. I think that's just left over from before. Um, no, but basically what's happening is right now, uh, my force is here, as you guys can see. I can't actually recruit anything I used to be able to recruit here. Um, but we now actually have access to, let me show it, there is the rail armory. So we still have the normal archers, that's the only thing that actually stayed over. But once I do an end turn, it will kick in. Because um, we then will have like the Breton Axemen, we've got the Norman Crossbows, um, the Sergeant Spearmen... We got our Norman infantry, we got our retainers, we got the foot soldiers, we got our unhorsed Norman knights, we got a lot of really good units now. Um, but it's just going to take some time for them to actually kick in, so I need one turn, and then things will kick on over to that, so we can actually utilize those units now. It's just the Norman arch is the only thing that actually stayed. I am now sad. I will no longer be able to have these guys. I will not be able to retrain them or recruit them. Which is kind of sad, but I do want to properly become the kingdom of Normandy. And so, I will have to abandon these ways, I will say. That is okay. But, let's actually at least continue doing what we can for right now. I'm going to have it so that... Ooh, I can still get them as mercenaries, at least. Retired Huskars. Oh, so I technically can still get the units. That's good. That's good. I feel better about that. But, let's at least try and hit this area. Uh, you guys have just the one general's bodyguard. So I can just let you guys take the uh, result of that. And then, again, yeah, pillage the area. And, oh shit. That's ah, a lot of stuff. You, oh, that's a lot. I don't know how good the, uh, those units are, but that's actually quite a bit there. So I'm glad we at least now have the walled settlement under our control. So we can take advantage of that for the defense. Um, and I will need to get rid of that building over there. You guys, I think, will be okay over here. I do want to check and see. Uh, oh yeah, you guys did uh, find another city. I'm curious. Will you now consider a ceasefire? No, very demanding. Okay, then uh, the only option then is become my vassal, bitch. So, well, at least offer that. Um, I do need to get some more troops over here. We're making a decent amount of money, but now um, I need to have it so... Let's see. Can I leave like, just like these two behind? Uh, if I lower it to feeble... No, not just yet. So hold off for a little bit. You guys, I think we should be fine. Yeah, I, I should be okay there. So we'll just keep trying to build up what we can around there. I do need to make sure that what we'll do is I need to get you guys. You are already converting them with the colony. Um, I need money and I need a public order. Also, I probably do need to get a muster field around here for you guys. Because this area is actually um, large enough that if I start building that up, I can get my own unit types. So let's try and grab that for you guys. And then I need... Something that gives... I could get another trader. I want things to give uh, growth and trades. Yeah, that's a perfect building right there. You guys as well. Uh, do I already have my port? I technically do not. No, I do. Actually, I do. So then, let's go with... Ooh, I could get the boat builder. Oh, no. Fishing grounds. Probably grab that for you guys. Um, around here... Let's see. The barley farm. Horse mill. Let's see, this one costs less, so grab that. And then Calais. I'm going to have you guys get the Trader. Paris, I would say... Ooh, no, that's just... Oh, actually, this increase in trade for the Blacksmith? Ooh. Tempting, very tempting. But I actually want to get more trade stuff, so keep going and trying to get more trade around there. And there, and then I think for you guys... Let's see, because this area, I want to make sure you guys are growing. Let's see, get the Hot Springs. Hot Springs, and then I think one more building. Bone Carver's Guild, that gives me a little bit more trade across the board now. Okay, so you're good there. Uh, I'll wait until, well, we can at least do this first. Uh, build me a watchtower up here. So I want to at least get some vision in the area. Because I don't want to go any further north. I don't want to fight you. If you guys want to keep fighting me, fuck it, so be it. Um... So I found at least this city. I should have actually asked for map information. Uh, I know they've got a couple more cities up here still. Um, I don't know where they are, but let's try and go up and around here. And then we'll start trying to use my diplomat as a scout to try and figure out where those are. Uh, they'll probably attack me here during the end turn. I should be able to push them back and not have to really worry too much about that. This fleet here... Hmm. I think it'll be fine as you are. I think you'll be fine. Is that uh, if they do attack me at that settlement there with my faction leader, I'm gonna hope they don't. Please don't siege me. There's one army around there. Okay, so they are going to attack us. This is just a captain. Um, decent infantry though, but 
I've got a cav unit and I can just be a complete fucking dick. They have just the ram. They don't have any other way onto the walls. So what we'll do is we'll sally out to, with my cav at least. Send them forward to try and hit the ram. And continuously cycle charging it should probably do quite a bit of damage. That's my hope at least. So we'll have you guys kind of stay back here. Cav, kind of right there. Start the battle. Go on out. Actually go to the side. There's more space over there. Uh, and then all of you, or these these guys, uh, what I'll do is like you go over there, you go there, in case they do get through, uh, you guys will go there, there, and there, hold position, and then what we'll do is I'll have so you guys are just going to do the war cry ability to try and just keep screaming and try and get them to want to break. So you guys now try and run on in here, get that charge, get an initial some initial damage there, and then kind of keep just pulling back, cycle charging. Don't want to take too much damage. But yeah, just let them kind of like try and get on the ram, and then we'll just keep charging them. And I'm okay with they decide to make their way on in. I'm just going to keep doing the war cry thing here, because I think if I remember correctly, that has a morale penalty. Also, the captain is right here. Let's see if we can kill him. Let's, he's right here. If we can get a good old charge on him, he might die in the first charge. Let's see. Did he die? Did he survive? He should be dead. <laughs> Are you seriously not dead? Wow, that's surprising. Okay, pull back. Let's do it again. That's number wise. Let's do kill five percent of the forces so far. Keep trying to pull it out of the melee there. Uh, they did push on in through. You guys need to just keep holding this area. You guys are doing your war cry ability, or you're supposed to be doing your war cry ability, so that hopefully they want to try and run away. Back up here, I need to keep kill that general before he gets into melee. Good charge. Good charge. I did a little bit of damage, not as much. Ah, oh, but there he goes. So there goes the enemy captain. So now, hopefully, you guys, especially if you keep screaming war cries at them. Yeah, just keep, just keep screaming. Um, they'll just keep wanting to break. So let's see if you charge these guys again. Now I'm hoping that we can cause a chain route with my cavalry here. So we need to... It's not doing as much damage as I would like. So I kind of pull out of there for now. I'll type them, like, all tr fully try and get into this fight here. So yeah, pull back. Let them engage. Number wise, yeah, 8 to 13. Charge on in back here. And hopefully we can cause a chain route if we fully surround them. There you go. There goes some of them. Some of them are trying. They're trying to get out of here. There you go. Your mass chain route is spawning right here. Some of you are being captured, some of you are not. It's kind of a little awkward. Um, let's get you guys to kind of push on forward. And now we just need to blow them down. So, infantry, get you guys to chase after them them. Make sure you uh, don't have guard bone on. Uh, and then just run them down so we get the magic 85. So really close there. We just need a little bit more. This area will then be cleared. Okay, so there we go. We got the magic 85. 90 to 89% of them have died. This force will now be destroyed. Perfect. Now we kind of cleared them up a little bit more. I need to start bringing my faction air back down south. Because I don't know where the other cities they are have are right now, but that settlement to the southeast that they have, that is... Oh, man, that's a lot of that's a lot of money for those units. I'll uh, just execute them. Um, at least the stuff to the south, that is pretty vulnerable. I want to try and see if we can make my way over there and go take it. Um, they are attacking the Bremont, so that gives me another reason to want to make my way over there. Hey, a suitable prince for Papa! Let's, go, let's accept you. you well, you're only part brave and plain, but you have a lot of fealty, so I'll accept you. I'll take that. Uh, Gongi... God, Hofri emerge after in time from its homeland and fighting the Spurs. Uh, he gives the Normandy areas. For, uh... Oh, so this is the this is the exile that I was talking about. Oops, but hey, I just got an army um, of reinforcements. Nice. Okay, so where do I want to bring this army? Hmm. I can either bring this army uh, to the east, or I can have them help I out with Saxony. With Wessex. Your enemy. Big army over there. Is me. So I want to get there. What's in this army here? Only three guys. Because you guys are still slowly converting. Um, there's a couple guys around here. We'll gather you together. I'll basically try and bring you guys over this way. We're not the largest faction. Ooh, I like that. I just need to now actually improve my economy to match up with that. I would personally say, okay, so you're an important character. Um, I want to say, 
at the moment, I'm actually kind of safe around here. Um, let's bring you over here. Let's pick you up. And let's have you make your way around. And I'll try and sail around here and try and figure out where those fleets are. But basically, these guys... Can I leave them behind and be happy? Uh, it's feeble still. No, I need to stay a little bit longer. Or I need to leave more of you. Which I could just leave just the infantry. These guys are already really beat up anyways. But leave all of you. It's happy. Um, try and make my way back around this way. Uh, I'm actually making money right now. Wow, I'm surprised by that. Especially with that army that I just got. Um, around here. Let's see. So I can get some more archers there. Because these huntsmen aren't bad. I need more infantry. So if anything, let's try and grab those. The German axemen. Trying to recruit a bunch of infantry around here to try and bring on over. To get over to my faction heir. There's not a lot of mercenaries right around here right now. That's okay. You guys also... If I can get some more of these guys over there. They can actually be... Um, free upkeep for me, because I would like to be able to bring you guys out of here. Try and retrain them if I can, because I know they will recover. My diplomat, let's have you keep going around here to try and figure out what's going on over there. I kind of want to hold off on this area for right now, and wait, and see what we can do. Because I want to try and see if we can just, uh, oh, I didn't make this a colony yet. Yeah, make that a colony. Try and build that up, and let's see if we can get away with just sitting here with what we got. I do need to move some of you guys out so I don't have so many of them in the same damn city. Um, all of you make your way over here to watch over our can. But now now you guys can see yeah, the units are now available. Although I hate that they are going to take a while to uh, be usable and recruitable. But we do now have access to these units, at least over here. Um, you guys don't have anything new because I didn't build anything around there. And same for you guys as well. Oh, but we can now actually get shrines. I don't know why I can build two there, but hey, sure, why not? Um, Paris, also same thing, doesn't have any of those just available just yet. But hey, it is something that we will now be able to get those elite units soon. Another general. I like that I'm getting a lot of these now. Um, so that's another one in Ruin. I will take you. I don't have a governor in Paris. So let's bring you over here. And then this guy, honestly, uh, he's not free upkeep right now, so take him out of the city. Let's send him over to the east, because for the most part, that's a lot of what we're trying to handle right now and focus on, is you guys. Let's have you get rid of this army. It's just going to fuck off. Good. And then my diplomat. Oh, there's a port. Where's the city? Uh, they don't have roads. Oh, there's one. So there's one city. And then where's the other one, I wonder? Hopefully it's also on the coast. Let's try and check that first. If it's not on the coast, then I can probably have us so they'll just kind of turn back around. Uh, this city is still, yeah, fairly easily, like, weakly defended. Um, this area, try and... Well, these guys are free upkeep now in this area. Because I want to get it so that you guys, as soon as this finishes, you'll start finally converting. But I've got some more men making their way over here. So that basically, because these ones aren't free up, you put the archers are. So soon I'll be able to have some more reinforcements. My faction heir. Yeah, no, we should fight that. We should fight that. These are just all, my archers can easily kill all of you guys. It's only archers and cavern in this army, but that's fine. So let's take these guys out. I also do need to keep trying to farm up a bunch of experience for my faction heir. Because he doesn't have max command, not yet. Um, he almost does. He's at, like, what, six or seven right now? He's getting there. But let's have it so that you guys uh, should be good. Just kind of stand as you are. And then my cab just rush on forward if we really need to. So they can advance towards us. They are the poor, poor fools. Yeah, let's get you guys to start unloading on them. Because as soon as they're in range, you can focus them down. Uh, they do want to focus on my cavalry. So just kind of stand around here for right now. Just to make sure that they're in range. You two, I would say, kind of move as well. Get a little bit closer unload on them, and then we just need to keep kiting them. Because there we go. Now the damage is ramping up. Okay, so you guys kind of pull back. You're a little too close. These guys over here are fine for right now. I will want to move them any second, though. Let's kind of pull back now. You just kind of pull back now. Cab as good as they are. Don't need to engage just yet. You're good. A third of the army's already fo dead, so let's keep focusing down this guy, because he's almost out of the picture. You can keep focusing on these mercenaries right here. Cav, keep kind of backing up. You need to kind of back up as well. Let's see, that guy's almost dead. He's at 96. He's shaking. He might die if I could charge him any second now. They really want to focus on my cab. Again, keep them near my archers. Because they want to keep just following my cab, that's fine. Just as long as you're always being shot at by my archers. So you guys uh, ignore them and focus on this other unit now. Because this guy is down to 17 guys. I don't think we have to really worry about him now at this point. I'll be able to charge him whenever I really feel like it, and he should break. Let's see, a little bit more on this one. Yeah, he's at 150. Let's 
one's down to 40, this one's down to 3, so it's literally just this unit left, because 72% are already dead. Go back a little more. I also think you get more experience or uh, higher chances of increasing your command if you have, like, no casualties. So let's just keep trying to run around here. There we go. They're wavering. I think charge them now. They'll probably break at this point. So they don't. I'll be surprised. Yeah, routing. That one's wavering. And I don't see anything else. Yep, there we go. Uh, let's see, we're already at the Magic 85, so I don't need to run it down. I lost one guy as I was charging it. Fuck, of course. Always when I start charging in with my guys there. Okay. But now, we've been able to take out that force. And keep making my way down south. Um, you guys here also get the Huntsman. And hopefully, that'll be enough that I can then leave here and take these guys out of there. Because I don't want to leave these men in here. They're just not worth just leaving around here. They're so expensive. Because, like, this guy here, it's about a 500 upkeep per that one unit. So, hopefully these guys will be fine to then start moving out of there. And then how many turns is it going to take for you? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. But I, I can have you go here. So, you can take this force you've got, make your way over there, take that city. And if we can find the other settlement, you might be able to finish them off over in that section. While my heir tries to finish them off down here. So for right now, at least, I will have you kind of uh, group up down here and then just kind of wait for reinforcements. And of course, they're going to attack the city that doesn't have walls. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Because I just need to hold this area for right now. That That's one little city. That's okay that I'll lose that. I'm not going to be able to really stop this. Not really, not with what I've got right now. But basically, I might actually pull away from this area because we decided to commit into not fully killing off... Um, East Francia, but at least for sure we're making sure that we're conquering more of that land. I'm tempted... Oh, they are coming back over here. Yeah, that garrison's not that great, so I'm not surprised. I did just barely finish that colony, though, so you guys will be converting even if I don't, um... If I don't control it. Let's see, another general... Jesus, I'm getting a lot of you guys. Um, let's see, so you... Let's have you go to Paris, and then you go over towards, uh, Aka now. So you can do that. Keep saying these reinforcements over this way. What's in this army? Ah, oh, it's Carl. Let's see. So this army here. A lot of mercenaries. <laughs> Just a ridiculous amount of mercenaries. Okay. Let's see. So we have a lot of things being sieged. That was sieged and taken immediately. Um, they occupied it, and then they're sieging over around here. Okay. Um, instead of going all the way around, uh, instead let's drop you off around here. Because then I want you to help out. Yeah, because we're losing money now. Because yeah, I want you to go over this way. Was that area, like, making me have a lot of trade? It feels like it was. Oh, they also gave me a fleet here. I didn't realize that they gave me a fleet for down there. Okay. Um, I don't need you guys here. Because this is pretty expensive. I'm going to get rid of these guys. Because I don't need that extra fleet for right now. Um, now that these guys are dropped off, though, I'll just bring you back over this way. Because I might decide to bring you back out of here. I think we're okay for right now. We do actually have a good garrison around there. And I'm hoping that they won't attack me. And I just... Okay, I just finished that. Okay. And then I just finished some guys right here. So, Bremon. Uh, can I move these... Oh, did that general die? Oh, no, no, it's Bremon. Um, can I move all of you guys out? 60. Okay, another one. There we go. So, that that's fine. Yeah, those guys are free upkeep. Um... You try and make your way over to Bremon, because then... That, well, that won't be a free upkeep, but there. I've got a couple more guys around here. I would say we need to kill this army first. I want you to go down here. Got three archers. I think you might be strong enough there on your own. But it'll be better if I just bring you both up this way. If I just bring you both up this way, it'll be a lot easier to get rid of that force. And then, once this army is gone, it's the only large army I see. We can then make my way into the other lands, because it really seems like they have, like, nothing down here. And most of their stuff is up in the north right now. So I think we should ignore it. And it does kind of make me feel like I really should maybe, like, bring you guys out of here until we're ready to have everybody commit to this section. And East Frank is going to attack me before I can even get over here. Okay, so, I'll let you guys take it. But, they should now be surrounded. And it should be a lot easier for me to kill these guys off. I would actually kind of prefer if they maybe walk out of the city. Because then I can try and lure them out and fight them on the open field. But it does look like they'll now at least be stuck there. So I can now bring my faction air. 
and that other army to bear on them. I will accept this bride. I don't like how I'm losing money right now. I really don't like that. Although... You guys are about to finish the colony. We can go for some raiding, possibly. I will see you I'm kind of tempted to try and go see if I can go battle. siege London and go attack it before they can retaliate. Very tempting. It's very tempting. But uh, for sure, what we need to do over here, at least, is you guys need to start sieging the settlement. Like siege right there. Uh, these guys can't get in range there. Are these guys happy without them? They are. Okay, bring them over as more reinforcements. Merge them together. And then you bring these forces over as well. So then, once I... Because you do have enough movement to get over here in range. So then we can try and have it so we siege you out and attack you next turn. Uh, my diplomat... Let's keep going and scout around here because I want to see if it is on the coast. It is! Fuck yeah! Oh, it's, there's nobody in it. Is that it? It's got to be it, right? Because I'll have you kind of go down around here and kind of check and see. Um, so it's sacked. So money-wise, they're not doing the best. But hey, military-wise, they're doing far better because this is about to be falling under our control. I'm very debate and very tempted. I wish I had some siege equipment. I wish I had siege equipment so I could go just hit that city immediately. Because I make so much money from hitting London right now, honestly. I really would. Also, I really do need to remember, I did grab that trader. I should actually move you to the area. Okay, that's worth 1,300 gold per turn. Jesus! There's multiple of those of here. Uh, how many merchants do I have up to... Agent limit reached. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's a pain. Okay. Well, I think for now at least, I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.